Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 13th of April. Beautiful weather today. We look good tomorrow, but uh, significant severe weather a possibility as we wrap up this work week Friday afternoon and Friday night. So let's get in there and talk about it. First off, the uh, Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Tuscaloosa's camera there on top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. What a beautiful day. Bright, sunny with highs in the 70s. On the eastern side of the state, there's the uh, Cheehaw Sky Cam at Cheehaw State Park, Alabama's highest peak. And down in Dallas County, a look at the Alabama River and the Edmund Pettus Bridge is seen from the Sky Cam in downtown Selma. Uh, we're kind of in between everything today, trough over the northeast, new trough out west, but uh, just fantastic. Look at all the 70s up on the board, uh, right where we should be for mid-April. Uh, the numbers range from 72 at Cullman, Haleyville, and Muscle Shoals to 77 in Alexander City. That's the warm spot. And around the nation, uh, readings are in the 80s back off to the west, and uh, we will probably hit the 80-degree mark tomorrow, maybe low 80s, and uh, we stay dry for one more day. On the watch warning map, a lot of wind advisories out west. Winter storm watches are up for a large chunk of South Dakota. And again, uh, as the week progresses, the concern will be severe convection. This is the day two convective outlook valid uh, tomorrow. Moderate risk out there around Tulsa and Wichita. Surrounding that, a slight risk from Shreveport up to near Omaha. And then on day three, which is Friday, uh, that's a, a risk, the standard risk all the way from the uh, central Gulf Coast up to near Indianapolis and St. Louis. And within that, there is an enhanced risk of severe weather across uh, East Mississippi and West Alabama and parts of southern Tennessee, the cross-hatched area where there could be significant severe weather. And uh, again, uh, uh, all, the, all the parameters are there for the most part. And if the timing works out, could be a significant day, maybe one of those Red letter days we have in the state, but we'll we'll see. And the QPF chart numbers are coming up. This is the expected rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning at 7 a.m., suggesting almost two and a half inches for the Tennessee Valley. Amounts at two inches around here, and uh, the amounts drop off considerably down on the Gulf Coast. But let's take a look. This is the 12Z GFS at uh, noon, or sorry, one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. There's your new trough out west, and down below that we're dry. High should be uh, close to 80. With a good supply of sunshine, the surface load developing uh, north of Amarillo, Texas. And again, uh, later in the day and tomorrow night, we're expecting severe storms to form out across the breadbasket where they uh, could pack a punch. Friday, boy, I'm telling you, now you see a look like that in mid-April, you know there's trouble coming. Look at the diffluence over Alabama. Down below that, the surface low is near Kansas City, about 1,000 millibars. Uh, and again, uh, at midday, the most active convection off to the west. This is late Friday night, just after midnight, 1 a.m. local time. The surface slowed down to 996 millibars with a band of showers and storms blowing through here. We'll check the uh, European the exact same time. This is uh, uh, just after midnight Friday night, surface low near Chicago. Showers and storms coming through. Very good agreement there. But let's got to get down to the high-resolution RPM. This Really tells the story. If you got some plans, this maybe will help you. Uh, this is, uh, first off, valid at uh, uh, 3 o'clock Friday afternoon. And at that point, the model is suggesting the stormy weather moving into West Alabama at that point. And really, that's where we think the window opens up. We're going to say 3 to midnight is the main window. We'll go to 7 o'clock, and some pretty nasty storms should be blowing through here. Uh, Huntsville and Scottsboro down to Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Timing somewhat similar to the Monday night event. And then we'll go to uh, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Saturday, and uh, we've got the storms over East Alabama uh, from near uh, Heflin down to about Clanton. And they'll be all out of here, you know, by 3, 4 o'clock in the morning Saturday. All right, severe weather parameters. If there's any limiting factor, maybe it's this, but the numbers are coming up now. This is the uh, instability. It's 7 p.m. Friday, local time. And uh, pretty high capes now, up, up to over 1,500 joules over Mississippi. And that, of course, will be advecting in here uh, Friday evening. 
Helicity values, this is a zero to three kilometer helicity in relation to storm motion. Numbers are pretty high over across Alabama, certainly supportive of rotating updrafts. Energy helicity index, and again, all these, the time on these, this is seven o'clock uh, Friday evening. And those numbers are almost off the chart. Those are somewhat uh, concerning. The EHI is a very good index to use for uh, determining severe convection. And uh, again, they are maxed out up and down the Alabama-Mississippi border. Uh, in some cases, over three units. And anything really over one is very significant. So, you know, it, it all depends on if we can see some uh, discrete cells forming out ahead of the squall line, which could very well happen if, if there's a, uh, the cap is not that strong. And it looks like it will happen right at the peak of the daytime heating process. So we'll have to watch for the uh, supercells that are out there by themselves uh, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and then later Friday night a squall line comes through. Uh, so it could very well be a situation where all modes of severe weather are possible and uh, uh, watches and warnings will be likely. So just plan on it now. So again, 3 to midnight, that's the main time frame. Initially, we'll have the isolated supercells and then a line later Friday night. But the good news, the weekend will be much better. This is Saturday. The uh, surface low is uh, around Marquette, Michigan, and there's wraparound moisture down into the Tennessee Valley. So, it, you know, it might be a day where the clouds kind of hang tough, maybe Saturday morning, especially north of Birmingham, but we'll forecast a clearing sky and cooler highs in the upper 60s. And Sunday, what a great day for the big race over at uh, Talladega, the Aaron's 499. Sunny with a high in the low to mid 70s, low humidity, a cool morning. We'll be down there in the uh, uh, low 40s Sunday morning. Just perfect. And then Monday of next week, uh, some evidence of moisture coming back, you know, maybe supportive of a, of a shower in spots. Certainly no big deal. There's Tuesday, the better dynamics are north of us. And again, you know, maybe a shower, but certainly not a widespread rain opportunity. And Wednesday, really, this run is not as aggressive with rain on Wednesday. It's got some energy passing north of us, a ridge down to the south, and that just kind of keeps us dry. So the models are all over the board next week. So the confidence is not very high. And then we'll go out there to the end of the forecast on the 29th. A uh, very deep trough over the west. And uh, look at that 988 millibar low ahead of that trough. So, you know, always uh, always something to watch around here this time of the year. That's for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.